happening right now. So you're gonna hear a, you're gonna hear a lot of narration as well. Um, gonna happen. All right, let me just clean this up over here because so many character sheets open is not healthy for my head. Okay. Um, let's get this out of the way as well. This as well. And this one obviously dies as well. So, <clears throat> what, what would have happened if it was Jackson's turn again? was that there would have been a ginormous explosion of necrotic damage, which basically is the equivalent of a single target blight on everyone. I knew. So that's, that didn't happen. Um, as for... Uh, the following things happen. As Skux drives his blade right through Jackson's throat and with the momentum pushes his uh, the hilt upwards towards what would be left of his brain and his skull, you the, the cracking sound that that follows sort of echoes through the entire cave interior it's as if every every other sound suddenly was uh was silenced and everybody is looking with wide eyes as to you know j just what just happened the 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 intense moment of um this this thrilling moment of suspense and at that moment you 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 are falling. Jackson is not, so you you have to like uh, immediately you know let go. Your your blade is still stuck within the um, within within Jackson, who is sort of like I wouldn't say gurgling, but almost like twitching in the air, almost like uh, trying to to understand what is happening. His hands are sort of like going towards his head, but he doesn't know what to what to what to catch at that mo what to you know hold with his hands um uh, at the same time your uh, you, you definitely you know uh, manage to go to the ground without uh, hurting yourself and you see uh, the visage of whatever is left of anders still pulsing with energy uh, currently anders is looking upwards towards towards Jackson, um, but there is no more necrotic energy that is seeping uh, towards him. Um, and Jackson is like slowly descending towards towards the bottom and then you hear like ah! every time as if he's trying to like say say something and he's like trying to pull up his hand towards Anders, trying to, to say anything that he can... It's like, you have to kill them now! And he, with an outstretched hand, and Anders is actually uh, starting to, to turn around and move. Um, kill them. And what at first looks that he's going towards Skux, but instead... He isn't going towards Skux, he's actually going towards towards Jackson. And Jackson's like, what are you doing? Kill them. And mm. and before you, you see Anders just like wailing on top of, of Jackson with whatever teeth he has left, you hear the screaming and screeching of that the one undead literally destroying the other uh, you see him being ripped apart by by his his first uh, his first creation and, <laughs> and it's almost like with every bite that he takes out of Jackson with every bone that he breaks with every uh with every whatever piece of flesh is still left on him he rips apart uh also more and more pieces of Anders himself are sort of like dissipating and disintegrating um he he then like Anders just like you see that the mangled body of whatever is left of Jackson completely dead, no longer moving, uh, and the the body of Anders keeps like sort of like becoming more and more gray, more and more uh, whitish, like the green smog is lifting away from the insides of its of its uh, remains, and you hear a faint. Thank you. You know, ringing about, and then he just completely dissolves into dust. In the middle of where 
uh, Anders is stands that self-samed stone uh, artifact uh, that presumably is the same artifact that um, Jackson used to um, to enable uh, the plague to be created. Um, at the same time, you see Skux that your blade, which was you know is still sort of like embedded in whatever is left of his, the brain of of Jackson, um, now glows with a very strange purple blue hue, uh, almost like um, what's a good equivalent to show when you like enchant a um, a weapon in um, in Skyrim. It has like that that little hue of the of the correct uh, element. It's almost like the same way your your blade is now uh, uh, imbued with it, and it it gives like a very coldish aura uh, currently. What do you all do? I'd um, like to approach my dagger and pick it up. You can mm. faintly hear the same screaming noises that uh, Jackson did before he was completely uh, uh, literally eaten by by Anders. Skux will look at the dagger and nod satisfactorily. Mm -hmm. And then put it in, uh, put it back in its place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anybody else would like to do anything? Skax, do you maybe want to get that identified? See if it's um, a first or something? Before anything happens, <laughs> I will I will still cast my um, thingy, how it's called again, Harness Divine Power, and I will begin a uh, prayer of healing. Okay, Charlie is busy. I want everybody busy. to stand for, still for 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean... We have time. Be... <laughs> sure. In there any is case, no combat now anyway. While Charles is non-existent to us, uh, as he's praying. Okay, uh, I, 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 I run up to Skux and I, I shake him. Don't you die on me again! <laughs> it's just a flash wound. I think it was more than a flash wound. You got knocked the fuck out? Well, then I hit him with my bow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the critical damage I need <laughs> to die. <laughs> hmm. Wait, I can do that. What's this? Oh, I can move the... I did not know that. You can move the names of your allies through your screen to other sides. I did not know that. Huh. From... Yeah. Anyways. Um... So. Uh, is... Do you want to converse yourselves? Do you want me to continue on with just the storyline? Is there anything else you'd like to do? Just wait a bit. I need to heal. <laughs> except, except can for can you. we all sit in silence for, for the 10 minutes? <laughs> yes. 10 real life minutes. <laughs> yeah, 10 real you know life minutes. All right. No. How about you, Asuka? Would you like to do anything? I don't know. Like... What do we do now? Whatever you'd like to do. Do you want to converse? Do you want to RP? Do you want to do anything in this in this zone? Do you want to inspect anything? Do you want to talk to anyone specifically? Um, uh, this, is, this is still an RP up, game. You can still I connect with each other. I go up to Dr. Zeno. Yeah? Puffing and wailing in agony. And I look at him with puppy eyes uh, in an attempt... To make him heal me, please. He looks at you, he looks at Charles. Wait 10 minutes, he says. I knew you were more gonna do more. that. In any case, he just he just is fine. Um because <clears throat> whatever happens anyways, you all level to level eight. So you can all go to level eight right oh, now. Geez. Oh, oh. Okay. How much XP would that be? Yeah. It doesn't matter, you just so, click the icon. Currently, oh. at this point, everybody can go to the same XP amount, but because this is the breakpoint uh, for everybody. So I think everybody's level 7 now, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody is any different. Okay. Everybody mm -hmm. can put their XP to 34,000 and then level to level 8. Yay. Oh, God, <laughs> um, no. I will already warn that, okay, this was a boss battle, which was equivalent enough for uh, for you people plus the NPCs, depending on how you would have uh, um, shuffled them around. Uh, it would have given you other opportunities and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> the the battles from now on will be a tad oh. bit harder than your normal run-of-the-mill battle, all right? As you advance in level, so shall enemies become more smarter. They will actually try to, you know, actively kill you. So do do try to think a little bit, not out of the box, but sort of like how what the consequences are if you do your action in that way. Um, that being said, uh, 8, 9, 10 are very, very, very fun levels to have. Uh, I'll tell you that. Those are, from, in my experience, 8, 9, and 10 are the most fun level experience you can have because obviously high levels are fun as well. Uh, but it, it, they give you a lot of options. Uh, for a lot of people, their classes get their second subclass ability and whatnot, so it's uh, it can it can be fun. Do you allow feats? I do, I do. You can use your left or your right one. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Mm. Anyway, no, because... no, no. Like legit. Did... Do you allow? To... Yes, yes. Of course, of course. If you want to forego your um, your. Um, uh, your stats upgrade. Uh, Does it need to be reasonable or any? <laughs> you can do whatever combination as long as it has the correct prerequisites. Note that any feat that you use from your character can exist on any NPC as well. So okay. you come at me with cool combinations, I come at you with twice the amount. All right, that makes sense. Can, I, mean, I, can I roll for my HP again? I don't want to. <laughs> oh, you've been in such a bad spot today haven't you hmm? Mm -hmm. i mean i mean asuka okay, I... should should i let him re-roll again it's karen karen is fine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks asuka mm -hmm. best healer ever i rolled oh. high already so i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> i rolled three I rolled eight. <laughs> it's one more so uh, i take it yeah mm. It's a, it's half of the six, so yeah, it's fine. It's one less than the average I would have gotten. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I rolled eight out of eight. I'm so happy. All right. So, <clears throat> as you are all, um, is there anything else you would like to RP with each other? Um, the healing spell. <laughs> yeah, fine. Ten, le ten minutes have passed. <laughs> but you you all need level anyways to max. Yes. Uh, to so max anyways. if I it's just flavor, it's just flavor, eyes. Am I small enough to ride on on Charlie to get the feet mounted combatant? <laughs> uh, I know what you're trying to do. Wait, do you? I just uh, saw it and I was like, that's funny. I don't know what I am doing. Th 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 well, the thing is. When talking about mounted combat, if it is, uh, you know, uh, worded exactly as it is, is written, is that if you are on an entity uh, that you can, you know, sit upon that is larger than you, oh. but normally is one size larger, normally, then, um, then yeah, then, then you are considered in mounted combat. Uh, seeing as Charles is, you know, just normal <laughs> size, and you're normal size. Come on. That's not what's gonna happen. Now, if Skux or Asuka took mounted combat and then <laughs> stepped on your shoulders, <laughs> then they are considered mounted. Oh yeah. And Skux, that would actually work for us. I'm not telling you to take it, but I can fly too. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see Skux throwing daggers and Sabine <laughs> shooting. <laughs> and you get a dagger, and you get a dagger, and you get a dagger. <laughs> that Low, would be impressive. In. I'm not sure if I'm ERS roll 20 really well laggy today. Well, yeah, I know. It's kind of annoying. Nothing we can do about it. Um, all right. Let's see. 
Hmm. <laughs> Is everybody having a good time leveling up? Uh, if I took this feed, that would be fun. Do I have low? Oh, no low five. Screw it. Let's go for stats. Um, Isaac, I think I have one that would work for me. The healer one. What's, okay. uh, what's happening? No, 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 feed that I think I would like. But I would need a healer kit for that. Oh, you were taking the, uh, the healer, what's it called again? Um, yeah, because it's it's kind of like somewhat like potion maker and uh, with plants and stuff like that. I could reasonably argue that my character oh. learned that. But I would need a healer's kit. Um... If I take this, will we find somehow, somewhere, perhaps, one of these kits? Because I do not have You'll it. You'll have opportunities, especially in the next chapter. I'll yep. tell you that. Um, yeah. But can you tell me the name of the feat again? It is called Healer. Guardian of Fate. That's so cool. I just got like two attribute points. What the fuck is up with all of you guys having? Like, you can click on feet instead, and then you yeah, don't get so the two points. When you get your, um, I, I actually prefer level, the attribute points. So it's uh, mostly melee characters that use these things. Indeed, prefer to use uh, just stat bonuses. But characters that are like healers or casters or whatnot. Or especially dual classers, multi classers uh, use feats because they allow them to gain certain advantages. So for example, Peter ha has the telekinetic feat. So instead of upping his stats um, um, at level four, at level eight, and I think four, eight, fifteen, and eighteen was it? I don't remember. It's when you can get either stat upgrades or feats. Um, you can never up your your stats higher than twenty. Just so you know. So if you got your main stat at that point, then it's no use, then it's better to probably go for a feat. Um, there are, in, in the far future, when you get your characters, or if you get your characters to level 20, um, that there are sometimes campaigns designed for high-level characters where uh, you get something called a legendary feat. So right, because 20 is the maximum... Um, the maximum level you can get legendary feats uh if you please the dm in a good way while playing oh my god i'm not sucking yeah. your dick so so uh, what you're <laughs> over to Ron's, uh, Isaac. Oh, <laughs> so, so what you tell so what you're telling me it's instead of me actually using those attribute points i could yes. have just taken feats yes that's true yes so you can see it uh, just it's like a tab uh, on the left side is for, for stat increase, and the right is the feat system. Um, uh, oh, when you look well, at the feat, you have to understand know. like what the feat. I mean, you, you can undo to... it. You can go yeah, back. you can undo it, uh, but you can also um, you have to understand that uh, some fe uh, features have um, prerequisites, which like say you have to be a halfling, or you have to be a goblin, you have to be a thiefling, or you have to be a spellcaster, and stuff like that. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. I think one of my most favorites, funny one, is um, uh, master, uh, the chef feature, where you can uh, uh, you cannot be poisoned or something by food. I know it, it's a funny feature. Uh, let me look it up again. Oh yeah, the chef, oh, it's, it's, the chef it's, feat. It's... You increase your constitution or your wisdom by one. You gain proficiency with cook utensils if you don't already have it. As part of a short rest, you can cook special food, provided you have the ingredients and utensils. And you prefer enough food for creatures equal to four your proficiency bonus. And at the end of a short rest, any creature who eats the food gains another extra 1d8 hit points. This can be done like on top of a Song of Rest that bards use during short rests. So it's uh, it's really funny. You can also make food, like treats, 
that you can use as an action during bonus action during combat to gain temporary hit points as well. So it's a very, very fun feature to have. <laughs> I'm going to hit this sweet roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, but most of the people that take that, you have to understand, it's mostly like flavorish that you have to do that. It's not something that you... Uh, you know, have to take because it's a good feat to have mechanically. I'd rather you take features that help you, your character, like from background perspective to a, um, uh, or yeah, the fantasy perspective than a, you know, I want to min-max everything situation, right? <clears throat> um, that being said, I think everybody has, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, Everybody has um, leveled up, I hope, chosen no. their spells. Yeah, pretty much. You can continue. I'm just fumbling around and doing some research on the healer's kit thingy, how that thing mm. works. Well, it's basically a, a, a kit that has an, an amount of uses. Yeah, and that's what uh, I'm trying to figure out, the amount of uses. It says it has I, 10 uses for 5 Normally has, yeah, like it says, normally has 10 uses unless specified otherwise by the DM. Um, for me, 10 is, is decent because the thing is, even if the kit has 10 uses, you can only use it once on each person per uh, long rest, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh, God. Uh, it's per long rest, 1d6 plus 4. That's no. Okay. That's nothing, but it's still... And it's an action. Yeah. Oof. Okay. So, yeah. It's, it's quite something. But you have to understand, if it's flavorful, do it. If it's not, just look at something else. Doesn't have to. Gunner. I'm, do I get a gun if I get gunner? <laughs> uh, you'll have to buy one, but it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe not in the next chapter, but maybe the one after that, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just continue. I, I'm just th looking through these. Yeah. There's so many. Okay. I mean, unless you have like immediate combat after, you can just continue. I'll just like. No, there is no combat for now. We're actually going to, once this chapter is finished, uh, we're going to stop it here before you go over towards the next one. Uh, because I, you know, you never know if a person actually died here. Uh, I didn't have everything prepared 100%. I wanted to see how everything. Uh, you know, uh, went um, because a lot of possibilities were going to be different depending on how you put Selena, Tamara, Zeno, Arabella, and Derek <clears throat> in in position. So, uh, if you, for example, took Zolina from in the inside rather than outside, follow you, mm -hmm. then Zolina would have to have been protected to be able to blast open the door for them to enter. Otherwise, okay. there would have been no help. And you know, different different fun situations. So, good job, Peter. You did it. You did a good job. Hell yeah. See, not mm -hmm. not everything is bad like your rolls. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I think it's this a one meme. works. It's a meme at this point. I am a meme. <laughs> going to poison sounds good for my character. Uh. That's that's perfectly fine. It fits your aesthetic. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. All right. Um, you also finished, uh, Charles? No. How hard is it to add three extra spells? Well, it's not really spells. It's the feet. Yeah, the feet. Oh, really you're stuck good. at the feet. All right. Yeah, well, that happens yeah. when you have two left feet. Anyways. Um, all right. So, while you were all sort of... In and out, too much of a long um, situation. Zeno went together, was talking to uh, Tamara, Selena, and Derek. Uh, Derek needed some help from Selena, who's carrying him by uh, under his um, with her arm under his arm to keep him steady as they they move together away. Arabella is conversing with Zeno while Tamara is uh, talking towards whatever soldiers entered the crypt. She's mentioning them to go left right to immediately uh, secure perimeter and um at this point she turns around to to Zeno is like <clears throat> dad I think it's uh, it's best that you and your companions you know go uh We'll we'll uh, we'll keep this place secure. She, he looks towards uh, tomorrow and nods a little bit, um, and looks towards the center next to Skux, and he then you know walks towards you. 
I suppose this is the artifact that uh, was mentioned within Jackson's notes. Seems to be so, yeah. Hmm. I don't see anything else. He he slowly approaches it and wants to, you know, you know, touch it. Hmm. This is strange. The energies this exerts are completely different from from whatever Jackson has done with it. It's almost soothing, he says. He tries to to pick up the artifact. It's actually a bit larger than his own head, so it, it it's uh, it's a it's fairly I wouldn't say heavy, but uh, hmm, I think this warrants a good investigation. And then he looks a little bit towards Peter, and uh, he motions to everybody. Okay, let's go back to the village. There is nothing here but dead that remain. And you're all going to go back to the village. All right. Let me just... Nope. Do this. The back boys. Mm. All hey. right. So you can place your characters. The boys, I'm back in town. Here. Wait, where did you say? Sorry, at the, the graveyard? At the entrance of the... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. Speak with that. That sounds like fun. <clears throat> All right. Um, as you traverse the the Black Mire, it's it immediately comes to your attention that it's not so blackish anymore. You see tufts of pink and purple to uh, immediately sprout uh, from left and right. Um, curiously, also at the feet of Zeno, you see more and more. Uh, sort of like flowers just sprouting in in a small path um, as you progress through the mire. It is it is actually a very beautiful sight to behold as that happens. Um, the air around you also becomes less uh, thick, and you see the green smoke to slowly evaporate into nothingness. Um, and you see, for example, if you pass multiple of these. These these bodies, which before were plague spreader zombies, the green energies within them just dissipate into nothing, uh, up into the air, and then pff, go into nowhere. Um, but before that, I would like uh, to ask everybody's passive perception, please. Sixteen. Before who has sixteen? I have sixteen. Okay. So um. Passive perception. Uh, where do you see that again? It's below your skills. 13. Uh, okay. 18. Wow, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. That's, holy shit. Um, yep. Passive, mm -hmm. yeah, then you definitely hear that. Um, I have 70. So, uh, you as actually as well. So, Charles, Asuka. Um, while the rest follows a bit more in front, Peter and Skux, and you know Sabine always follows Skux wherever he mm -hmm. goes, so um, they are a bit more in front. Uh, just before you leave the perimeter through the gates, um, you hear a giggling sound. Uh, it's it's very childlike uh, from behind you. It's almost um, ghostly in nature. Yet Ooh. there is no sense of that ghostly nature around you. Um, you basically hear it giggling and 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 laughing almost, and it says that was super fun, and then the the voice then dissipates, and you don't hear anything anymore. Our next foe. Dun dun dun. Exactly. Right. So 
as I mentioned before, your trek back towards the city, um, towards the village, sorry, um, was met with uh, strange happenings uh, wherever Xenos ha went. It was almost like it started to cleanse, but it's not just where Xeno is, everywhere around you. You see more of that smog going away, more tufts of color appearing in the, in the, in the, in the black mire. Um, you hear, for the first time, you hear uh, birds uh, chirping again in the environment. You hear uh, small wildlife as well, blooming back to what once was a dead environment, uh, literally and figuratively. Um, you uh, you see that, like I said, the, the, the bodies of these zombies that were animated before just like dissolve into dust as they they disappear uh, from from your vision. Um, and the, the green smoking cloud that was above everywhere ever since you entered the the village starts to dissipate more and more. And for the first time, the actual visage of the sun, sort of like with God rays, go th comes through. It's freaking the... shadow bringers all over again. <laughs> I guess, sure. Um, mm. uh, but instead of shadow bringers, it's called plague bringers. Oh, and yeah. um, you, as you arrive at the city, um, you, you already knew that uh, a messenger guard was sent towards towards the village uh, as well and you hear uh, many sounds uh, most of them positive cheering uh, festive Yay. sounds music and uh, and the lot uh, there is there is a lot of cheering and you see people just hugging each other on the streets and uh, it's just okay. just, a, just a happy moment And um, you see Mayor Zenos as well breathe the air in and out and looks to you all. I haven't had a breath of fresh air in a very, very long while. How about we convey at my office at the healer's house? Sounds and after perfect. that, I think festivities are in order. <laughs> it's a gex fail. <laughs> By the way, everybody who has a green dot uh, feels a strange energy also emanating from their lungs as it is almost like pulled out and a green tuft of smoke leaves your, your body and you all feel energized. Good. Right, um, they put that dead uh, head back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why is it there. I don't know um, either, but you have to have no, Maybe let me just put that there. And she is back with Selena and... No. Um, Selena and Derek. Okay. So, Selena over here. Selena is carrying Derek. Arabella uh, whispers something in Zeno's ears. He nods and she is going towards the uh, mayor's house. Right now, uh, as said, the um, the mayor has invited you towards the healer's house. Do you wish to follow? Selena and Derek are also following you at the same time. Hmm. Uh, can we first get the ale? <laughs> well, that's what the festivities are about. So you oh! you you did write the ale in. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> yes, okay, let's go. Woo, I'll follow him. All right, okay. So, Selena and Derek are in front of you while you pass through the many, many people on the streets. It, You see some of them still have the, the masks on the sides of their head or on their shoulders. Um, it's a completely 180 from before. Uh, although you see many nobles still on the sidelines, just only talk with nobles, but most people, whether they be from poor to middle class, they are all just like... Uh, are dancing with each other and laughing and cheering. Uh, many people who sort you sort of remember having these painful sores or strange effects from the, from the plague are just like just standing up and just like touching their bodies, looking as if a miracle wow, happened. Um... Um, it's it's quite intense. Um, 
as you approach the healer's house, you hear, Sabine, you hear little small steps, like mm. tickle, pitter-pattering, and, uh, and and a little tuft of red just instantly, whap, like, right on top of you. I've uh, got her. She, like, jumps and just envelops you, like, I in pat the her chest. head and tell her she's a good girl. <laughs> she she looks up uh, with like bright mm -hmm. eyes and um, she then she just smiles and like makes a little sign with her hands while still mm -hmm. you know very strong legs just around you doesn't fall down it's like I knew you could do it mm -hmm. thank you uh, from behind you hear like heaving and like ah, why did you uh, run so fast and then you see little Sammy also behind Flora uh uh, following it's like uh eh, you could have just waited for them to come over to us you know and mm. then she she looks behind her she shrugs a little bit and then just you know hugs you a little bit again um xenos looks at the exchange and chuckles a little bit uh and mentions you still to follow um towards the healer's house um within the healer's house as you enter you see a lot of cheering, a lot of uh, a lot of mothers hugging their children, uh, who can finally, you know, get close to them again, and vice versa. Uh, you see an old man and a woman hugging each other in uh, in silence, without too much, you know, without too much uh, laughing and cheering, just you know, enjoying their moments together. Um, you see Nurse Joy and Nurse Hector also uh, being super happy. Nurse Joy having tears in her eyes and Hector just like, <sighs> just, you know, you know, being relieved from the situ situation. Um, finally approaching the, uh, the office of Mayor Zeno, you see that Selena and Derek uh, split off from you going towards the appropriate wing of the healer's house to get healed. Um, Flora still hugging you, which in turn makes it so that Sammy also has to follow you. Um, and Mayor Zeno uh, sits down and uh, puts the, the 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 big rock uh, next to him, and at the same time breathes out a a, a big exclamation of relief, just as you saw with Hector and uh, Nurse Joy. And beckons you all to sit down. You you know you meant you see that he hasn't asked you to put any gloves on this time. Mm. Wow! Uh, I comment on that. On uh, don't you need to wear gloves in here? <laughs> he looks at you and is like, "Well, I think eighty percent of the reason why gloves were needed no longer exists." Nice. All right then. Honestly. I am very pleased. I haven't. I, I'm not normally a man who uh, prefers such chaotic festivities, but considering the circumstances, I I couldn't be happier myself. That said, you've all you have all given us reason to hope again. We thought that <clears throat> the end, whether it would be by the forest or by this plague, <clears throat> was imminent. But if anything, you have uh, you have earned a well-deserved rest, a well-deserved festivities. I think investigating this relic is of is of importance. Considering it was the origin of this horrible plague, yet its energies are unknown to me. They are familiar in a sense, yet so mysterious. Um, I will need some time to understand its secrets. Um, he looks towards some of you. I do not know if any of you wish to help me in this endeavor. If you give me an hour, I can ritual cast identify spell and see if that says anything. We'll see what happens then, I guess. Um, that is a possibility, although I could also do that myself. Um, 
but yes, with the more the merrier. Are there any others who wish to help? Does anyone uh, know legend lore? No. <laughs> I'll go and look to the wounded soldiers that helped us or guards, I guess. Uh, that is very friendly of you, Dr. Charles. Um very well. Honestly, I I don't know what to ask or tell any of you. You may you may um you may do whatever you wish to do. Um, Maybe a little reward is in order? Oh, definitely. But once all the chaos has dimmed down, you will be properly rewarded. Um, now, three things are going to happen. Uh, after those three things, we're going to stop the, the session. And then we're going to, next session, going to do the pre-start of the chapter and then the chapter start. Uh, the next chapter starts. Um, thing number one. Uh, Zeno is going to, while you all stand up, uh, interrupt you. I was like, before you go, he looks towards Flora and then towards Sammy. Sammy, can I have a minute with you? Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. I want to tell him. We got. <laughs> you say that to Zeno? No, I don't think I should. Well, it's up to you, honestly. I I don't he think def, my my he father he deserves. <laughs> I I don't think if if he makes me roll for charisma things I have minus one and I'll fumble my oh, words. Oh no, no rolls! It's pure RP. It would be easier for me than just talking with myself. <laughs> just so you know. Okay, okay. I'm gonna blame it on Sky. <laughs> huh? What? What? You you killed. Um, Who's that? Never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And just... Asuka stole the I ring. I didn't even touch him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's not completely uh, wrong. No, no, uh, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. So, what are you going to do? He's not going to do anything. I, I, I don't know how it works. <laughs> Why don't you do it, Suko? What? Oh, okay, sure. I'll come up to Sammy and I'll tell him, Hey, uh, so uh, we killed your uh, undead dad. <laughs> <laughs> We we like totally saved the town and shit was we, super we, epic. We, we found it was your super dad. Super radical, dude. But yeah, like your dad, like damn, bro. He he just he just he he lost it, bro. Like is he that not, your actual character? No, how he's not told, just how dead she, level one. No. He's like level two. How about two you try dead. and RP how Cleaving. your character actually? I talks. can't RP. <laughs> yeah, but especially that's what not we do. in these. Well, not with not. I can't RP. Um, what is it? Uh, uh compassion thingy. That's <laughs> well, that that makes that. it that makes it all the more. I have to stay in character. Yes. Then do okay, it. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Compassion. Let's go. Let's go. I'll I'll I'll, I'll RP it. Okay. okay. So. Um, I look over to Major Zenos and to the rest of the party while they're all like. <laughs> Looking very awkwardly and stuff. <laughs> and I sigh, and I'm like, fine. Uh, let the, uh, let it come from an unexpected corner. <laughs> and then I come over to uh, Sammy, mm -hmm. and I kneel down. Well, no, no, I don't kneel down. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you look up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to marry me? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, come on, guys, you're ruining it. Um, and I put my hand on the kid's shoulder, and uh, I tell him, um, Kit, we got something to tell you. Um, oh, man, oh, I have what? actually a good idea. So, you know how we basically saved this town, right? I like Yes, that's what's happening. Everybody's yeah. super happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, believe it or not, kid, but your father was involved in, in saving the town and stuff Aww. and, and saving the disease. Um, and, you know, you thought he was dead, right? But, well, it turns out, yeah, he is dead. But... <laughs> <laughs> Let him do his RP. You can what a that. twist! But he involuntarily helped curing the disease, and he left you something, kid. Did he? And he told you to never give up on people, and 
always expect the best rewards from majors when you save their towns. <laughs> but anyway, that does, that's not my point. He, he left you something, kid, and I just wanted to give this back to you. And I hand over the ring that oh I... Oh my god, you are insane! Oh. That was... Okay, <laughs> let the me... Actual let redemption me... arc. Let the me... Small... Yeah? <laughs> let me let me now excl uh, no, show that this is peak RP. I just wanted to, I just want to tell you all. Redemption Asuka arc. took what was a you better, joke at the start where he stole. You better and he, reward me for this. <laughs> yeah, you definitely will be rewarded for this. Though the took a, took where he stole first, he now twisted it around and used it as a this is what your father gave to you. Nobody's gonna talk to him that it was not true because nobody wants to break a heart of a child. <laughs> And fourth, I mean, it was they perfectly don't know, in character. They don't no, know that I have that ring. Everything, they don't know that I stole that. Everything. No, you can't. Everything here was <laughs> pure perfection. Why did you say that you cannot RP? This is exactly what I'm looking for because you're still following your character traits, being I, a little bit of a deceiver who tries to get something but still do something nice for another person. I you think still this is to... in my uh, in my. Let me look at my bio real quick. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, that one, that one, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Point it on the rogue. Uh, <laughs> and then make him repeat what he said. So, so, so I, 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 guess, I guess this is a sort of sacrifice, but that I'm willing to make because I know I'm going to get more out of it. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so, so yeah. I just wanted to congratulate you. This was... Very good. You thought about something that you took before, you twisted it around, you made it into something that would benefit you, yet still help another person, which I means that you stayed in this. character. So this, I I don't expect, but I hope that everybody can get to that, to that yeah, point. Yeah, get on my level, bitch. No, no, no. Continuously, <laughs> oh. not just that one thing. Was that him? Yeah, you can, dag you can knife him out of spite. <laughs> um, um, that being said, okay, it's like, wait... That's that's Mama's ring. Yeah. Before your dad died, he gave it to us to deliver it to you, kid. But that's your dad would have been proud. <laughs> like in my head, the wheels are turning, but I choose to remain silent. While the kid is looking down at the ring. I like turn over to the party and I put like my thumbs up with a big grin on my face. <laughs> I that's face so Asuka good. and I put both <laughs> thumbs up. That's so I realize good. nothing. Very good. <laughs> um so <clears throat> then Zeno's uh coughs a little bit. Yes, I uh that's that's exactly what happened. Yes. At least he's Any not case. sad. So <clears throat> Um, he looks towards Sammy. Um, Sammy. That being said, what the halfling Asuka said <laughs> is true. Your father was involved in all of this, and he is a hero in every sense of the word. It also explains a lot of things as to why the play could not affect you. I suppose a father's love would never hurt a child. Yay. And that would explain why the plague never affected Sammy, because, you know, a father would always protect their children. Mm. Um, <clears throat> all right. With that all said, and with that conveniently given ring, I'll bid you all tomorrow. After the festivities, we will talk the business as he looks towards Asuka. We will talk the uncovered secrets as he looks towards Peter and any other forms of rewards for your services as he looks towards Charles and the rest. But now it is time to enjoy and rest. Um... Is there anything anyone mm -hmm. would like to do now before they? Um... Hmm. No. 
No? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> can we have a look at that dagger that, that Skux had? Like, wasn't there something uh, like that? Sure. Um, you can RP it or <clears throat> Skux. What do you want to do? Or I would like to like draw it out and like inspect it, like twirl it around. May I ask it. you where you do that? Uh, while everybody is talking, I'm doing it. Oh, okay. So while everybody else is looking and talking towards, okay. Um, <clears throat> Skux, how about you roll me uh, an Arcana check with advantage? Yes. Okay, Thank that's you. 20. <laughs> no, it's advantage 20 because your subclass profession has everything to do with what's currently going on with this dagger. Um, how about you also roll me an investigation check, normal, um, just to think about the thought process about how everything has happened by now. Okay, an 11 is fine because the DC was, a, was, a, was an 8. Um, <clears throat> Um, in your years as a phantom rogue, it is not unknown to you to seal souls within objects. Oh, so boy. it is also not unknown to you that you currently have the soul of Mayor <coughs> Jackson uh, trapped within your dagger. Um, it should also be of note that you have to remember that this is sort of like a quest from your side where the ghosts of that graveyard asked you to bring them the plague doctor i guess i will do that while while we are having free time it, then it is up to you that's a choice you can make um it so having such a powerful soul in your possession um could bring you benefits uh but it could also be a risk considering who we're talking about. Uh, it is up to you what you're going to do with it eventually. Uh, is there anything else you would like to ask, do, or share? Mm. Currently, this is only what you know and what you've understood. I'm glaring <laughs> at you. Tell me what it is, Gux. <laughs> I am pretty secretive when it comes to these things, so I'll check it back into the uh, wow. sheath. Uh, just as you check it back into the sheath, um, Zeno stopped talking about, you know, explaining why Sammy was immune to the disease all this after all this time. Um, so yeah, anything else, everyone? Or do we just end the session and we continue next time? I'll go to uh, well, whatever the wounded guards are. Yeah, just place your characters where you want them to be. <laughs> so I suppose Scox, where do you want to go towards the cemetery? All right. Mm -hmm. Charles will be at the healer's house. Peter, Sabine, Asuka, where will you go? Zeno will stay at the healer's house investigating the stone. Like part of me would follow Skux, but I don't want to ruin his personal plotline. Oh, th that's not a ruining. If you want to join him, then you can join him. Ooh. You can take along. All right. I that's just imagine you being like, "Where are you going, Skux? Where are you going, Skux? Daddy, <laughs> Skux." <laughs> I'm a gloom stalker. I, I can be at least a little bit stealthy sometimes. I'm not stealthy right now, though. Um... <laughs> Where does Asuka want to go? I am going to the store to look what I'm going to buy with all my money that I will get soon. Well, yeah, you need mm. to get it first, so you'll yeah, have to. Yeah, I know, that. but I'm. Well, am I gonna get it now? No, no, no. no. Just let yet. him. Ju just let yeah. him get See? it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you do your thing, Mister Ring Stealer. Buy um, it on tap. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, Flora will follow Sabine mm. <laughs> into the graveyard. This is gonna be an interesting situation with the three components here. <laughs> Let's spice it up a little bit. Um, Peter, what will you do? Ha, I kind of wanna cast invisibility and follow those three, but <laughs> <laughs> up to you. It's uh, all up to you. Just, just make sure you're not in shadows because I can see invisible things in shadows. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Guess Even not... magical things in, that are invisible. Uh, let me link it <clears throat> while you guys continue. I'll just go talk to Arabella. 
Were there a lot of guards wounded, by the way, Isaac? There are a decent amount of wounded guards. Um, but most are, like, you know, flesh wounds and whatnot. There is no more... Um, no danger of becoming zombies or plagues considering that the origin of it is gone mm -hmm. uh, so you just have you know decent decent amount of medical work stitching up open wounds stopping the bleeding disinfecting wounds and whatnot yeah but by the way by the way just for like a uh, backstory did a lot of people die during oh, the all of them storm there <laughs> was a decent, uh, let me, I can't really put it into numbers because that's not something I thought about, but with how Peter um, distributed the people, having a good front line like that, um, and with the defenses that were put on in the village, <clears throat> meant that there was only about a 20% loss in people. Oh, still high though, holy shit. <laughs> It is still high. Would have been worse, maybe. But and the graveyard's is... gonna be busy. So <laughs> let's say out of five hundred people, a hundred, uh, a uh, hundred uh, out of five hundred people, yeah, a hundred uh, died. Yeah, about eighty-seven, and like then, I said. Then two hundred or like something like that would be wounded. Then holy shit! <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, I and guess we can end the eating. session here. Uh, what did you say, Peter? Time to use those prayers of healing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, considering this is the first actual end chapter boss that I really put in some, you know, work for designing and for um, for doing, uh, feedback is always allowed. Um, sometimes it can be that people would feel targeted. Don't feel too bad about it. Everybody gets their shining <laughs> moments, and otherwise, uh, any form of like advice and feedback, like I said, is is always uh, uh, accepted. Um, and other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Isaac, tell me one thing: if I had yeah. rolled back on that energy thing that turned me into a zombie, would you have killed me? Uh, <laughs> oh, you mean with the the negative uh, energy and blight thingies? <laughs> Well, if it would have killed you, you had 60 HP. I don't see how you would have been killed by it. The second one was absolutely a kill range. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that was Blight. So Blight was just a normal... It oh, okay, you okay. Into a zombie. okay. Uh, also, he only had one sixth level slot, so... I'm glad I took that. <laughs> so the negative energy, uh, whatever the fuck it was, uh, won't uh, was not going to be cast again. Unless he had like a seven spell slot, which he did not have. Also, if Sabine would have died there and like turned into a zombie, I mean, would have killed. Could I? Could I still have like rest that? Oh my god! Would I have been There's... kept as a puppet? That's that's no. the spell that you were sh that you shut yourself upon. Uh, and uh, what was the question? Uh... Uh, if I could like resurrect uh, Edge now or revive her in that case. As a and there are two different types zombie. of resurrections. You have one of necromancy where you resurrect just the body. Then you also have, I think, not spare the dying. It's something else called revivify. Revivify, yeah, revivify. revivify. Yeah, but then you need revivify is one spell where you do need the components for though. What are those? Even if it's a spe... even if it's a third level spell, you do need the components for it. <laughs> um, and the uh, yeah, there are limitations on the spell. You need to have they need to have lost the death saving throws, they need to have died, and then you need to be able to revive them within the minute, or else, yeah. 300, uh, yeah, no, 300 gold happened. worth of a diamond, or just 300 gold. Um, okay. Is what you need. In other words, you, were, you were totally would have been dead. <laughs> what about the heart of a young elven child? What about it? Would that also work for Revivify? I mean, it's no. kind of in, in theme. It, it throws you out of the campaign. Yeah, it does. Mm, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Uh, I mean, how, how does the, the poison kit work? Is this like something like you forage for plants or is it just like virtually like 10 poison oh, bottles? Feature. Yeah. Let me take a quick look. Because is this something that I, I have to create or is it like 50 gold pieces for 10 vials of poison or how, how does it work? 
because it says it's 2d8 um but the the poison process is it takes me an hour so i'm gonna be like eight hours of poison crafting, <laughs> eight hours of sleeping <laughs> i have it min maxed out don't worry isaac and then when i have my seven kegs of poison oh boy <laughs> Uh, let's see. Seven kegs of poison. Okay, so your action becomes a bonus action to poison something. So basically you're like a pseudo, yeah. Okay, and you need a poisoner's kit. And yep. you need to expend 50 gold. You get a dose of potent poison even, not just normal poison. Equal to your proficiency, which would be three right now, I think. Yep. That, okay. Uh, you can use one per attack. <laughs> To poison it for one minute until it deals damage. Its constitution is flat 14, uh, 2d8. Oh, so it's or, it's not even half. Or they take it or they don't. Okay. And become poisoned, which also uses my new poison. Well, yeah, it's just as it explains. So you need to have a poisoner's kit. You need to use um, an amount of gold uh, worth of materials. And you create that amount of poison potions potent poison potions say that seven times one after another um that you can use during combat as a bonus action so basically each poisoning costs me 50 gold yes and if it's on a melee weapon it lasts for a minute how are we doing ammunition because technically is it then only one single shot or it's one single shot because Oof. it's, it's potency okay. for one minute or until you hit the weapon or ammunition Oh, so once it hits in this one minute, it's gone? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a, a temporary buff that lasts until you do a hit or you... or. And if I missed a shot? <laughs> then you lost. Ooh. Then you lost uh, because, you know, it's on the Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. But, uh, yeah, that's how it works. So it, it's pretty powerful because it allows you to use your bonus action first and then you can use an action to poison someone on top of the normal hit. So... Uh, that can be that can be very intense. Would it Considering be possible you can for also... me to poison Skark's weapon? Because here's the thing: what you can do, um, you can have one turn where you use your poison action, mm -hmm. bonus action, on one arrow. Then you fire a normal one, and then your next turn you use it on another arrow, and then you fire two poison ah, arrows. Do you know how much money we're talking here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get wrecked if you want to poison for 4d8 poison damage on top of your OP no, arrow shots D8. that have a plus, I don't know what the fuck. It's 2d8. Then, yeah, 2d8 that you can do twice if you have oh, two poison fair, damage. Fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll again, consider it. Uh, the constitution saving throw is a bit on the higher side, so it's it can be 14. worth it at some point. Hmm. Um, you can do some cool stuff. There are ways to make it so that opponents have disadvantage on saving throws and constitution saving throws. So, yeah, I would oh, say have fun I'll think with about that. It. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, here's the thing. Uh, you can also poison allies their, their nice. weapons or ammunitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about poisoning Skuck's dagger, for example. Yeah, 